Leaders have been advised to be selfless in leading the masses and shun the act of corruption, which has become an example for the younger generation. Abdulaziz Onike, the chief missioner of NASFAT, made the call on Thursday after the Idil Fitri prayers at the Old Secretariat Mosque, GRA Ikaja, to mark the end of the 30 days fasting in the Islamic calendar. TV 360's Oni Adekune has the details. <laughs> It will feature special prayers. These prayers mark the end of the fasting and a time of sober reflection for all Muslims worldwide. The season, according to Islamic scholars, call for prayers and selfless service by those in position of authority. The government should be allowed to take responsibility. They should kill the soldiers and let the citizens know that we have just released social amount of money to the soldiers, to the military, for to combat the crime. When we know that, when we see that, and we see the ammunition being bought, we know that they have done their best. Not people collecting money and embezzling money. In, the, in recent time, most of the military aid are being charged with corruption. I'm still saying that nobody can fight for Islam using violence. Nobody can claim to be fighting for Islam using violence, killing, because our religion is against that, and we have been saying that repeatedly, and we continue to say it. Some worshippers thanked God for keeping them safe all through the 30 days of fasting and prayers. They want the government to do more in protecting the citizens, especially the girl child, during this period of security challenges. The responsibility of women to take care of their children is very key. We need to pay attention to our girls and also to advise them. To Nigerians, I want to um, encourage Nigerians that we should be patient with the government. We should work towards peace, unity. Co a peaceful coexistence in Nigeria so that um, by the grace of God we have um, a developed country, a peaceful country where we can be proud of. Um, the youth have a lot of responsibility in this. They need to ensure that uh, we're compliant, we support government in wherever we are, whether the local government state government, federal government, we have a responsibility. The federal government, the state government have put a lot of um, empowerment programs to support the youth and women. We need to be patient so that we can also be benefit, benefit from all, those, all these opportunities that government is providing for all of us. It's a special month in the year. It's a month Allah has uh, commanded us to fast for 30 days. It is compulsory to any Muslim who is healthy and is living on earth to observe that uh, fasting for 30 days. What Allah actually wants to uh, use by commanding us to fast is for us to have the fear of Almighty Allah. You observe the fasting and know those who cannot afford to eat, how, how do they feel when they are unable to eat? So these are the lessons that uh, Ramadan also uh, uh, taught us. Prayers were also said for the peace of the country while strict adherence to COVID-19 protocols were observed all through the prayers. Onyadikunli, TV360, Nigeria.